Hello. Today we'd like to talk to you a little bit about a, a unique product that you see in front of you for metal thickness measurement using analog inductive proximity sensors. These are off-the-shelf products, off-the-shelf solutions. Everyone kind of knows about discrete inductive proximity sensing. You know, we have a coil and we introduce a piece of metal, the ideal target being mild steel in front of it. It uh, causes an output to go to the host control to stop, start, or control some process uh, in automation. But how many people are aware that uh, there are analog inductive proximity sensors? Uh, here at Balif, we've developed a line of these products over the last few years that uh, kind of take it to a new level because the ASICs that are on these, uh, these chips are able to produce linearity and resolution that uh, hasn't been found in this category of products in the past um, so that we can really detect things with a lot of accuracy. The smallest product being about six and a half millimeters with four one hundred thousandths of an inch resolution. We can even detect thermal growth on a ball screw, say, so that kind of accuracy. But they also go out to very large ranges, uh, out to uh, 50 millimeters of range. There's, there's a lot of different variants in between. But the very unique one we wanted to show you today has um, not only continuous uh, 0 to 10 volt feedback, continuous analog feedback, but anywhere in the travel of that 5 millimeters, we can program in three discrete set points without the need for an ancillary analog input card into your PLC. So that saves a lot of money, saves a lot of trouble and a lot of time. So we, we can create a go, no-go, high-low gauge uh, with one unit uh, for metal targets. So we're going to show you what that looks like today. So we have the sensor set up and powered up right now. We have it programmed in already. Uh, just by touching designated wires with power, we create a set point. So, in front of you, uh, you see the sensor there. We're going to put, introduce one blank, uh, one piece of metal. So we know what that thickness is. It's, you measure whatever that wants to be. Uh, so there you have one set point tripped. And then when we introduce our second piece of metal, uh, creating a different thickness, you see that the other set points have been tripped. So that now you created your, your go, no-go gauge for, for thickness measurement. And that can be whatever you want it to be, whatever value it needs to be in your application. So if you'd like to see more of these things, get your hands on some of them, please give Balif a call. Thank you.